Gilmore's second box has arrived, and it will be a plain brown box with all the proper labels on it. And you will remove the top of the box, which will be labeled top, by cutting around all four sides. And then once you've removed the top of the box, pull back the plastic in the second box inside. You will also simply cut around the top edges, I'll mark them, the two sides and across the middle. So you only have to open the top of this box to get everything out. When you open it up on one side, there are three enclosed in plastic and foam, three shells, three small shells, and there's some plastic gloves so the shells don't get fingerprints and stuff um, when you're taking them out. If that, so you, and the screws for the shelves are there also. On the other side, I've noted that it is very fragile keep packed and keep straight up until you take them out of the packing, framed glass uh, drawings on metal. To take those out for each one of the three, there are strips that say pull. You pull those up and you set it on a flat surface, set it on a flat surface, and to take it out, you're going to clip the tape on the side first. Keep it upright at all times, otherwise it could, could fall out the top. And then once you've cut the tape, just takes a cut on one side, I think. Once you've cut the tape, <laughs> then using this tab, you can lift down and up and get the frame out. But it should be left like this and covered with tape or it'll fall out until you're ready to use it. Okay, so on each shelf, there's a little bit of museum wax. And so when you stick this protrusion into that slot on the shelf, it will not move. The shelves look like the shelves look like this, and the museum wax is in here. And when you after you put the shelf up. When you set it on the shelf, if you move it around a little bit, this will stick into the wax so it won't be knocked off easily. And that's what the three pieces in this box are for. Thank you.